going on guys welcome to the channel so today's video is all about Japanese exclusive region free Xbox 360 shoot 'em ups God, that's an earful but you know shooters shmups whatever you want to call them they're shooters that only came out in Japan but the discs are region free or maybe the console is region free there's certain discs that are region locked and certain discs will work on any region console why that is I have no idea but in today's video we're going to talk about discs of shooters that you buy for the Xbox 360 that'll pretty much work on any region console so let's just jump right into it first game Dead on Pachi Resurrection um, wow what an awesome game but here's the thing all the the games in the Dodon Pachi and Don Pachi. Uh, I guess it started with Don Pachi and then we got the Dodon Pachi and then everything after that kind of stuck with Dodon Pachi. But these games are all really great. They all introduced that really good cave uh, focus shot, spread shot, slayer speed uh, down kind of game mechanic. Uh, the original game, Don Pachi, came out for like the PS1 and the Saturn over in Japan and Cave, uh, cave and Atlas actually put that game out. And Atlas did another cave game called uh, Esprey for the arcades, but actually Esprey M2 just picked that game up as part of their Shot Trigger series, so I cannot wait till we get that. I know it's going to come out on the PlayStation 4, I just don't know if we're going to get a physical copy or a download. I mean, even if it's $35, like uh, Dang and Fever, and I'm still going to get it. I cannot wait for Esprey to come out. Um, but it's just one of those weird cave Atlas combos that we had in the 90s that we never got out on any region console. Uh, but now we're going to get it. But anyway, <laughs> enough about Esprey. Dead on Pachi Resurrection. It's like a $50 game. Totally worth it. If you guys buy shooters, you know what these things can cost. And uh, just the replay value and just the awesomeness of what this game is. You know, totally worth it for the money and completely region free. So, Dead on Pachi Resurrection. Next up, we have Ginger Force. Now, Ginger Force is kind of interesting. Just based on the the way the game looks and the changing perspective as far as the background and the scrolling goes, at least to me, it really reminded me of games like Ask to Breed. And if you've played it, uh, Ather Vapor actually just spoke about that on my channel, which are doujin games, um, you know, independently made or uh, fan made kind of uh, projects and developing groups, you know, over in Japan. The, the developing groups, they refer to them as circles. Um, so I'm, I'm honestly not too sure who the circle is or the developer is for this game, but I kind of feel like it's a Dojin release, but it's a pretty awesome game. Not the greatest game in the list of games that I'm about to talk about, uh, but it's going to have more in common with a game like Eskatos that I'm going to talk about here in a minute. But uh, for the money, it is relatively inexpensive for what it is. Um, you know, do be aware that most of these games are going to cost more than $20 or $30. But uh, totally worth it. Awesome game to add to your collection if you do like the physical versions of these games and completely region free. And that's Ginger Force for the Xbox 360. Okay, guys, so this might be the best game in this list of games I'm talking about. And that is Mishishima Hama Futari, which in English, I guess, translates to uh, like Bog or Insect Princess, at least from what I'm told. But wow, what an amazing shooter. Let's just start with the graphics, the visual, the visual, the visual, the visual presentation of this game. Um, it actually, from what I understand, this correlates to some kind of manga over in Japan. If you know anything about that, please let me know in the comments down below. But the visuals in this game, breathtaking. The aesthetic, perfect. It's like a dinosaur, um, like lizard and bug um, based and everything's throwing projectiles at you. Uh, this game is, is one of the better shooters that I've ever played in my life. This game, and it's the cheapest game. And all these games that I bought, this one was the cheapest. I paid $36 for this game. And as a matter of fact, I see this game selling consistently online for right around $40. So I cannot recommend this game enough. If there's any game I'm going to tell you to go buy and you actually go out and buy, please buy this one. This game is awesome. I totally recommend it. If you like shooters, you owe it to yourself to play this game. And the music, the soundtrack is rocking on this. So um, not like super heavy metal music like other shooters have, but this game has a very suitable soundtrack for the aesthetic. Um, beautiful game. I can't recommend it enough. And I mean, look at that artwork. Beautiful. Beautiful. I'm, I'm interested to know the manga that this thing relates to now, but yeah, Mishishima Hama Futari for the Xbox 360. Okay, next game we have Escaluda 2. Now, kind of interesting, through a strange turn of events, I got Escaluda 2 on the Xbox 360, and the original Escaluda that came out over in Japan for the, the PS2, which is completely region locked, I uh, just happened to have a Japanese PS2, but I got both of those in the same week. I ordered this online. And Escaluda 1 for the PS2 I got physically from a game store owner in my area, so really worked out for me. Strange turn of events. Um, anyway, this is a good game. Not the greatest game in the list of games I'm going to talk about again, or in the list of games that I am talking about. But it is good. It is made by Cave, so it does have the pretty graphics. It just it has the Dodon Pachi-like 
game mechanics that a lot of these game games have, but this game is not Dodonpachi. And this game is also not Mishishima Hamafutari, but this game is a mix of Mishishima Hamafutari and Dodonpachi. So, with that being said, you have decent results, but again, it's like a mix of both different style of mechanics. Uh, I, although I do still recommend it, and you know, and it was made by Cave, so again, it has the awesome graphics. Um, it's worth the money. This game is worth the money. It's like in the fifty-dollar price range, so you're not spending you know three hundred dollars on a crazy rare shooter. You're spending fifty on something that's fun to play that has a ton of replay value and that's really pretty graphics. So, and this version actually comes with a soundtrack, um, so that's always a good thing. Now, one other thing, this game does have a limited edition. Do not buy that limited edition. That limited edition is region locked. So if you see one with a prettier cover that has anime characters on it and comes with like an art book and this long case, do not buy that version unless you have a Japanese console. Get the regular standard edition because this is the one that's region free. So just putting that out there in case anybody's interested. But yeah, Escaluda 2, awesome game, totally worth the money. Okay, so this next game, we're kind of diving into rare and expensive territory here. But we got Mushi Mushi Pork uh, Pink Sweets. This is uh, two games on one disc. Um, kind of like the wonder packs of some of the other games that you might have seen online or you might have seen it Probably haven't seen it at a retro store because I never see these at a retro store But Mushi Mushi Pork is an awesome shooter that I've played on MAME for years now on RetroArk and Pink Sweets although I never played it till I got this disc. It's a game that has some pretty uh, Interesting uh, game mechanics for a cave game not like Pachi or any of the other cave games really it has some very specific uh, gameplay mechanics that I have not anywhere near mastered yet, but I am working on them and I will live stream them once I get better at the game. But uh, yeah, Mushi Mushi Pork, uh, soundtrack blazing, awesome graphics. It's like one of those like cute em up kind of games, but kind of a hardcore shooter at the same time. It's definitely hard to play, um, but it is a lot of fun. It's right up there with the Dodon Pachi games and the Insect or Bug Princess game. But yeah, this is like one of those like. 120, 30, 40, 50 dollar game. So, you, it, although this isn't a super rare game, you will find copies on, of this game for sale. They certainly surface online. You just have to wait until you find one for a good deal. And uh, you will, you know, wait a couple of weeks and you'll find one. And, um, you know, try to pay around that hundred dollar price point. I know it's a lot to ask for a game or a lot to pay for a game, but it's totally worth it. And that's Mushi Mushi Pork and Pink Sweets. So, last but not least, by any stretch of the word, we have Bullet Soul Infinite Burst. Now, this game was the hardest game out of all the games I just talked about to get. This is actually the last Xbox 360 exclusive region-free shooter that I'm going to show you. We are going to talk about other games that are region-free for the system that I do not own, but this one was the hardest for me to get. This one is also the most expensive that I have come across. Um, it's also the one that I wanted to play the most. Um, yeah, this game goes for right around $250. It usually comes in like a collector's edition. I don't care about that. I mean, it would be nice to have, but I don't have that kind of money. I just wanted the disc. So I saw someone selling one for $140. The disc was resurfaced. It does have slight surface scratches on it, nothing serious. I saw someone selling for $140. I hit them at $100. They hit me at $130. I've been making money on eBay anyway from selling stuff that I only paid a dollar for, you know, years ago. So, uh... I just said screw it, I went ahead and got it, and uh, because I had been selling on eBay, I treated myself. What an amazing game. Bullet Soul Infinite Burst, now it did originally come out, and that version's region free too, is Bullet Soul. Then they created Bullet Soul Infinite Burst that did away with the bombs and added something called Burst Mode, which is similar to Break Mode if you have played games like Crimson Clover, and I'm sure there's many other shooters that have something similar to the Burst Mode in this game, but, so it's kind of like the Dead on Pachi games, you have your regular shot, then you have your... I want to call it a focus shot. It's kind of like a concentrated uh, attack that slows down your speed. Uh, the girl in this game with the purple, it's actually the girl I'm wearing a t-shirt of her right now that I made. Um, she does a melee attack, kind of. It's a focus shot, but she actually has these fists that you swing. And I think anybody that plays this game for the first time, they're going to choose her as your ship. Um, although the other ships are interesting and I enjoy playing through the game with all the different characters in this game. Uh, you know, when I live stream this, I definitely want to pick the girl because she's the coolest and just that like, I don't want to call it a melee attack, but it kind of looks like a melee attack. Your focus shot with the fist, it's like for her specifically, it's like a focused melee attack, but uh, expensive game. If you can find it for a deal, I highly recommend it. If not, I do believe you can get this on Steam as well as probably most of these games. Um, or maybe you can get it downloaded onto your Xbox. I don't know if you need a Japanese account or not, but how, regardless of how you play this game, Bullet Soul Infinite Burst, it, it's an awesome shooter. It's not made by Cave, 
uh, but it's up there with all the cave games. It's one of the greatest shooters that came out on the Xbox 360. Okay guys, so those are just the games that I own physically. There is quite a few more that I still need or that I still want in my collection. Those are just the ones that I have found over the past six months and some of them, finding them, it ain't easy. But the ones that I still need or the ones that you should look for that are region free are first one, Eskatos. Now, Eskatos is a Dojin shooter. I actually have the Dojin version on my PC, um, but again, you can get it on Steam. Uh, the version of Eskatos that came out on the Xbox 360 had, I believe it's got Judgment Silver Sword on the disc. So for those of you that don't know, Judgment Silver Sword was a Dojin shooter that came out on the Wonder Swan Color, but apparently the same people that made Judgment Silver Sword made Eskatos, and apparently, I don't know for sure, but apparently there's a version of Judgment Silver Sword on the Eskatos disc. So, I know Eskatos is region free, so that's what I'm looking for, but again, it's kind of harder to spend the money since I already have it on my computer, but it's one that is region free if you want everything in your collection. Um, another one, Under Defeat. Uh, Under Defeat Deluxe Edition, to be more specific. Now, Under Defeat that came out in Japan, that's region locked, but Under Defeat Deluxe Edition that came out in PAL regions is region free, not unlike Dead on Pachi Resurrection. It's kind of the same thing, region free, so... I don't know how much that game goes for, but the version of Under Defeat that you want on the Xbox 360 if you live in the United States is the Deluxe Edition, the PAL Region Deluxe Edition. It's region free. Another game that I'm looking for, and uh, it's, a, it's a very expensive one. This one's going to be pretty hard to find, but it's Dead on Pachi Sadaiojo, a game that looks amazing. I've seen footage of it. Uh, it looks incredible. Very expensive. Hundreds of dollars. But it is region free, and for somebody like myself, it's a Mustang, so I will get it eventually. Uh, I wish I had it in the video to show it to you, but I don't, but it's Dead on Pachi Sadaejo. Now, another one that came out is Bullet Soul. Now, I showed you Bullet Soul Infinite Burst, but that, that's Bullet Soul with the original Bullet Soul on the disc and an added burst mode. Now, the original Bullet Soul just was the standard version. You had bombs. There was no burst mode. The new version has the original version plus burst mode, making the old version obsolete. So for me, I will not be finding that original version of Bullet Soul unless it's given to me or I find it really cheap. But since Bullet Soul Infinite Burst came out, it's kind of obsolete since you get both versions on the disc anyway. But I'm just letting you know that the, both versions of Bullet Soul are region free. Now, there's another, it's like a Wonder Pack. So Ginger Force and Eskatos came out on a Wonder Pack. I already have Ginger Force. I don't have Eskatos yet. But if you want them both, the Wonder Pack on the same disc, it's going to cost you like three or $400. It's super expensive. So for me, if I just go out and spend the $75 and get Eskatos, I'll have everything. I don't need the Wonder Pack, although I know someone, and you're probably watching this video, congratulations to you for finding that, um, or you, may have, you might have had it for a while, but uh, I'm, I'm quite impressed. That, that's a good one. That's probably one of the most expensive shooters on the system. But if you're a collection completionist and you need everything and you live in the United States, it's one you're going to need. It's Ginger Force and Eskatos Wonder Pack. Pretty much both games on the same disc. Now, there's a Shooting Love and a Shooting Love collection. There's a couple Shooting Love games that came out on the Xbox 360. Now, the Shooting Love 10th Anniversary, which I believe has two or three games on the disc, that's region free. And you can find that. That's relatively inexpensive, too. It's uh, maybe 50 bucks, but that's one I'm looking for. Why I haven't gotten that one yet, I don't know, since it's totally affordable. But if you want all the region free shooters on the Xbox 360, you're going to need Shooting Love 10th Anniversary. And the last one, I don't know if I should add this one, but Death Smiles 2. So the disc is region locked, but you can play Death Smiles 2. I believe you can download it from the Xbox Online Store. Um, don't know for 100%, but I'm pretty sure you can. But again, I don't know why I'm mentioning that, because the disc is region locked. So that's pretty much everything that's region free. If I missed one or maybe two, it must be some pretty obscure stuff, because I've done a ton of research on this topic. And for games like Bullet Soul Infinite Burst, there's not a lot of information online to say whether it's region free or not. I actually had friends of mine doubt that it was region free just because of information they read online. Um, and I read the same stuff as well. But I took the chance, got the game, and I am going to confirm to you, at least for Bullet Soul Infinite Burst, that game is completely region free. And with the exception of Death Smiles 2, all the games that I talked about will work on a U.S. console. So that's everything that I own physically, and it should be everything that you need to look for the region free shooters, and not just over in Japan, PAL regions too, or the Xbox 360. And you know, when I think about the seventh generation and the lack of uh, shooters that came out, especially in the United States, you know, over in Japan they had a few more, but you know, the seventh generation shooters were not popular at all. That was an extremely niche 
genre of game. It still is a niche genre, but back then it was real, real niche. And, you know, just the, the rareness factor and the fact that these came out on a system that relatively had no support in Japan, it's just all the more reason for me to jump right in and try to collect this kind of stuff. And it's not a huge library of games, so it's kind of obtainable. It's fun trying to look for some of the rare stuff when you're only looking for like 9 or 10 games. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I really appreciate the support I've been getting lately. And if you made it to the end of the video, you may want to consider subscribing to the channel. I've talked about some pretty cool video games. And if you like the video, please hit that like button. It really helps out my channel. Till next time, guys. Peace out.